Hey, everybody, and welcome back to AGP's podcast. Sorry. Um, I've been trying to do a bunch of stuff. I've got people trying to message me everywhere, and I'm also waiting on the rest of the crew to get here. So right now, you're just going to have to deal with my ugly mug. Sorry. Um, anyway, um, before we get into it, of course, we want to say thank you to all of our sponsors, uh, to Hazard Productions with their amazing comics like Pudding, Peanut Pudding and Jelly and Ramp- Roadkill Rampage, which they just sent me the uh, PDF for. So look forward to having them on the podcast when we do the introducing a creator part of the show. Um, every Tuesday, I try to get parts of the crew in so we could do more of a get to know us type thing. On top of that, um, of course, we also want to thank Sean Forney Illustration and their independent comic, Scarlet Huntress. It's amazing. You definitely need to go check that out. Uh, sorry, people keep messaging me on my PS4 and it's driving me bananas. Also to Mark Kidwell, he's a comic creator. He works on Images 68. He also has his independent comic. I have lipstick on my teeth. Yeah. Um, bump. And of course, we also want to thank uh, UVN, the Underground Video Network. They bring many really cool things from all around the tri-state area of Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana, doing all different things from comic book conventions to, uh, I think I saw some derbies, to they give their insight on a lot of comics and movies and stuff. They're a real cool thing to watch, so definitely go check them out. And of course, last but not least, to the Gym City Comic Con and the Champion City Comic Con, we want to thank them for sponsoring AGP, always allowing us to be a guest of honor of their show and allowing us to be able to do panels and show off what we do at those shows. It's amazing to have you guys as sponsors. We thank you so much. So as we are waiting for other people to show up, um, I know one of them just got out of school and they had to go grab a bite to eat, so they're going to be in a little bit later. The other one is out of town. Um, and she's going to try to make it back, and one is at work, one I can't get a hold of, the other one is suffering from having to work in a grocery store during these hard times, and she doesn't want to do anything but sleep when she's at home, and the other one's my sister, and well, she is who she is, and she does not like being on video, and I'm trying to break her of that, but they will be back soon, and we hope that all that, and things are going to be really cool. Um, so I want to take a moment, so it's, it's just me talking to you guys, to say thank you guys so much. Right now, we're sitting at 129 subscribers on YouTube. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but to me, it really is. I don't know how to use the analytics, and I'm not going to do a bunch of, hey, click on this. It's clickbait. I'm not really cool with clickbait. It's not my type of thing. Um, I... I, it's just not my thing. And I actually had somebody go, well, you know, if you wore more low cut, blah, blah, blah. That's not who I am. And that's not what I want AGP to be associated with. I want AGP to be associated with a bunch of goofy, random people who just happen to get along. Uh, we come, we all have diverse backgrounds. We all are different. Uh, if you really look at it, you know, DJ, goofy, weird, uh, He, you know, Kathy, she's my sister. Matt, he's amazing. Dennis, Cassie, who's gone from the background to now the foreground playing some games with us. It, we're just really good friends. We get along great. And that's what I, and I want people to like us for who we are, which is why I set this up, which is why Tuesday it's getting to know us and getting to know our goofy stuff. And I know I have a cord in my headset and it shows red. That's because I've been seriously grinding one of my favorite games called Ark Survival. I'm desperately trying. I am one stupid chibi away from my ultimate collection. Just give me the unicorn already. I need that unicorn little chibi. I need it. Give it to me. I want it. Um, later this episode, when Dennis gets here, we're going to... Uh, if he shows up. Um, I'm hoping to talk about the new DLC. Well, it hasn't dropped the DLC, which I'm upset about. But the new characters that are coming to Dead by Daylight, which we will be streaming as soon as the DLC is available. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, the funniness of what I did to poor Dennis and Matt last night uh, playing Fortnite with the new wall. That was hilarious. Uh, so we'll talk about that. Neither of those, those videos, uh, the video for... Fortnite has already dropped right here on Twitch, and for um, the, obviously, the Dead by Daylight, the stuff just came out today on the 16th of June, so we don't have a video for that, but as soon as we get it, uh, we're definitely going to do it and do some Kill Your Friends in it, because it's a lot of fun. 
I like playing that game. I don't like really being the killer. I hate it. I suck. I really suck at first person. If I could be in third person all the time, I'm happier with that. First person is not my gig. I've never been able to adapt to it. I'm old. Get over it. <laughs> and I know that's not really an excuse. Sorry, my nose is ruddied and I don't know why. Anyway, um, what I was saying is, is in this short amount of time, you guys have gotten us to 129 subscribers over on YouTube, which I am absolutely tickled pink for. Um, of course, I believe, what was it we are at now? Hold on, let me double check real quickly. Let me go to my channel. Let me zoom all the way down here. And we are at... Do, 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 do. Give me just a second. It should tell me here in just a moment. Maybe. Possibly. Or not. Okay. Thanks. I believe we're at like almost 70 subscribers. Not subscribers. 70 followers here on the Twitch channel. And two uh, two subscribers on the Twitch channel. So yay, we're actually finally making some money. Which is really cool because... I quit my job. I've turned this into full time. Uh, so I'm spending all of my time either A, making videos or doing podcasts, interviewing people, getting the crew to do stuff, or I'm doing um, arts and craft stuff. Uh, the arts and craft stuff um, is a bulk of what my income is for both AGP, myself, and my mom. My mom's the one who taught me the arts and crafts. Um, it was a very scary decision to quit my job and decide to do this stuff full time because I do have to worry about my bills and my mom's bills, which is why I live in a rinky dink little apartment. Uh, but some of the stuff that we're doing, and I do want to show this off, is so check this out. This is the latest dice bag we just got or got made. Um, and of course, I went with some Star Wars stuff because, well, I'm a Star Wars fanatic. Uh, yeah, right there. Um, so I made myself a dice bag because I love playing games like D&D. &D. Uh, here's the inside. The outside. And what's really cool about the fabric here is all the white parts actually glow in the dark. So it's really cool. It's a new design. Uh, of course, you know, we do have um, trademarked type of fabric. And if it's something that you're interested in, you can message us over on Facebook. It's probably the best. So go right here. And you can message us if you're actually interested in any of the products. Or you can even message us over on Instagram because that all goes to my Facebook anyway. So, or our Facebook. And we'll be able to get that stuff. And so, we're making dice bags, dice trays. Uh, we also make... Yeah. Dog scars. So, like, this is obviously a Halloween fall one this is one of our velcro ones uh we are going to start discontinuing these uh because a they're more expensive because of the amount of material that they take and we understand that a lot of people have lost their jobs or have been on in unemployment and things like that so we don't really want to bog people down so we do have this alternative, which are these, and these are collar scarves. So they're based off of the size of the collar that can slip through. You just slip the collar around, and boom. And yes, I know people call them bandanas. We just like calling them dog scarves. And so you get a basic plane on the back, which flipped over. It's here, and then you have this, and it's really cool. Um, and again, we also, and like, oh, here's, a, here's an old Christmas one that we did. So little Christmas puppies and little snowmen. Um, but those, like I said, the Velcros are going to probably go out. So what we have is what we got. Um, if you have the money and it's something that you're like, no, I desperately want this. And this is the size of my dog, yada, yada, yada. We'll be more than happy to try to see what we could do to compensate and help out. Um, I can't make any promises. Hi, Savic. Um, as you can see, Savick's actually wearing a collared one. Uh, it's an American flag. Fizzy ate hers, so she no longer has one on her. And she go has a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Come here. Come here. Oh, my gosh. Heaven forbid if you're not in the podcast almost every time. Or oh, just baby high. Just high. That's my girl. Yeah. 
But seriously, guys, thank you guys so much. With 70 followers, two subscribers, 129 followers on YouTube, we're really appreciative of all the support that you guys have done because I really want to build a really cool community with AGP. Um, I love when I'm streaming and people are chit-chatting and talking to stuff like that. Um, I also want to do another quick shout out over here. Fallout 010. That is Matt. Matt is a member of AGP. He plays with us. Uh, that is his personal Twitch account. So you'll be able to go over there and see a different POV of the games that we are playing. Not to mention he will be playing some of his own games. So go check that out. Support other members of AGP. This is obviously with me being the owner operator this is the main channel so this is where all, the podcast will be here they won't be streamed on his um because this is the main channel but the gaming and then what our plan is is he just got some editing software and he's supposed to be able to take his video my video and then as everybody else starts getting their streaming stuff together be able to take all the videos together and combine them into multiple views like oh Amanda crashed over here so let's cut to hers oh Dennis blew himself up so let's cut over to his and that's what we're actually hoping and I do apologize that we started a little bit late today um I had such like I said I had some technical difficulties and everybody I don't know I don't understand what it is with people it's like oh your podcast starts at seven here let me message you then how about not I I'd appreciate that that'd be great you can stop with the growling young lady. Hmm. And as always, we do have what we call throwbies. They're little pillows. And, ooh, bad cat. That was mommy's core. Don't do that. This one is a custom piece that was made for actually one of my sponsors, uh, has a Productions. Uh, he likes comics and Star Wars, so he I had some Star Wars comic book stuff. Throwbies were only $5. So, and... What we do, basically, these are for people who rage. You don't want to throw your controller. You really don't. Don't throw your controller. These are 60, 70 bucks. These are five. And just to give you an idea, and obviously, I'm not going to wing it, but. And that was right up my screen. If I would have done that with this, my screen be broken. It would suck. And then my mom would probably kill me because it's like, uh, mom, yeah, you, you, you know that let's go grocery shopping this week. Yeah, that's totally out. I have to go buy a new monitor for my PC. That would suck. Um, other things that we're working on, uh, we have, <clears throat> we're bringing back seven days to die. Now, you never get to see seven days to die on Twitch because we actually record that. We don't stream that. And my sister decided that we we're going to play this thing called darkness falls now my sister really doesn't like streaming uh she just likes playing games so you'll never gonna get an opportunity to see her pov but you can watch mine and i am recording it and we just finished recording two episodes yesterday so they haven't been edited they haven't been brought out yet but o m g this is not your regular seven days to die. Um, there are NPCs that are not just zombies. There are survivors. There's marauders. And Kathy's like, oh, if you've ever played seven days to die, you start off. You're in this nice area. There's nobody supposed to be around you. You have time to get your stuff done. And then you start running into zombies. And sorry, I'm hot. I'm trying to save money by not turning on the air conditioner. Yeah. Anyway. Um. So, <laughs> I spawn, I started working on my stuff, um, and it's a little different than what it originally was, because originally it's, hey, everybody builds the same stuff, everybody has to do the same objectives, and this, everybody gets different objectives based off of what they're going to be, and I chose farming, even though I don't ever plan on making a farm, I just like to cook, and, yeah, um, I didn't, it, it, it didn't take long for, I walked up to this dude, he was a marauder, he hit me with machete, and I'm not going to spoil anything else for you, but I run, and I scream, and I cry, and Kathy makes fun of me, it was not that, it was so, it was horrible, it was so horrible, I hated it so much, like I really did, 
I did, I won't go back to regular seven days to die. I can play that. This darkness falls. It's so horrible and mean and such a big game. It's such a big game. <laughs> But uh, we've got those videos that need to still be edited. Seriously, camera, I know. You are eight years old and you hate this. Get over it. Oh, my God. My camera hates, absolutely hates the stuff that I keep doing to it due to the fact that it's eight years old and I am working it to the bone. And, yeah, I'm sorry. My couch is disheveled. My dogs and cats decided to have playtime on it right before I started, and I did not have time to fix it. Ugh. And yeah, I'm not going to censor out what I'm drinking. I don't care. They're not sponsors. Because I'm drinking from two different companies, people. I have my Diet Coke and I have my Rockstar. This is Pepsi. This is Coke. And no. And these are the two things that I drink other than tequila. And I just... I'm really trying not to drink alone. I was really bad. Once upon a time, I was just this happy little alcoholic. And... Never again. I, no. No, thank you. So, let's see. Other things that are going on. Um, shh, I know. Sorry, my neighbor, when they walk, they sound like they're coming through the roof. It's, <laughs> I think they wear concrete booties. I'm not sure. It's amazing how many people have lead feet in this world. It's like, dude. Our apartments are, like, really extremely old. Like, when I first moved in in 2012, my stove and fridge were still yellow. I still had to chisel the, uh, what is it, the freezer? Like, once a month or else everything, yeah. Like, that's how old these apartments are. And they don't get upgraded, and the walls are thin as hell. The floors are thin as hell. You can hear everything. Like, if you go above the decibel that I'm at now, someone's going to hear me. Like, when my neighbors do it, I hear all of it. Blah. So I spend most of my, thank God, because of my job, I spend most of my time in a headset, so I don't have to hear other people. Oh, man, when they said they were going to run a little late, they weren't kidding. By the, time the, by the time they gave you the show, it be over to be like, okay, I got to go. Um, because I need to check. So um, the game that we're wanting to play next is obviously Dead by Daylight. They're dropping the Silent Hill. They dropped the Silent Hill stuff. What's weird is, is when I went in and I was like, okay, I got to purchase this. It's just one of those things that I have to do uh, for content reasons. They didn't have the full DLC available. They only had the killer and the survivor. And, of course, the killer is a pyramid head. And the survivor is... Oh, I'm sorry. I just... I am I just blanked. Uh, hold on. Dead by Daylight, Silent Hill, DLC... Let's just do this. Uh, Cheryl Ma Mason. So she's the new uh, survivor. And it looks really uber cool. But when I went in to go ahead and purchase the DLC, the DLC wasn't available. Just the killer and the survivor. And I'm like, okay, that's going to cost me almost twice as much. I'm not going to buy them individually. I... I have very limited funds. I have, especially with the fact that season three of Fortnite's also dropping this week. So I have to also make sure that everybody gets their battle passes for that. So everybody needs battle passes for Fortnite season three. I have to, me and one other person has to get the killer and the survivor. Well, at least get the killer uh, in Dead by Daylight. Because one is we have to have, I have to, as much as I hate playing killer, and I hate playing a survivor that's not my own. Um, I have to get the survivor and I have to get the killer because that survivor, stop camera, um, I have to show off her abilities. And then with the killer, since I'm the only one with the POV right now, I have to show off his abilities. And then we have to show off his Mori. And then I have to go in and have somebody else have a killer so you can see it from the survivor's perspective of somebody killing the survivor in that POV. It It's really hard when you're thinking of content how to do things. Um, 
it, it, it's really weird um, because it's not – it's – how do you put it? Certain aspects of when you're creating a video are scripted. Certain aspects of a video are not scripted. Um, for example, last night here on Twitch – we streamed Fortnite. Now, I was trying to stream the Fortnite event, but again, Epic Games screwed me in my ass, and I was in the I was in the game. I got into the game an hour and a half early. I was in the game. The game crashed, and I couldn't get back in to stream the event. I have messaged Epic Game about this multiple times. We're sorry. People just have difficulty when we're having our events. Yeah, well, you're costing me my money of people watching and me making money. Screw you. It's not right. You shouldn't have a limited thing on your events, and your game needs to stop kicking people out when they're already in the damn game. Screw you. Only reason why I play Fortnite is because it's free. That's it. And the only reason why I do the battle pass is because I want the shit. <laughs> so you still make money off of me, but it's still, it's crap. I, I hate the fact that you do it. And no, I'm not an only Fortnite player, okay? There's a reason why I only play Team Rumble is because, oh my god, I suck. I will not play regular Fortnite. I like Battle Royales, don't get me wrong, but I'm better in things like uh, Warzone, uh, PUBG, uh, blackout. It's the building in Fortnite. I can I cannot do it. I just cannot do it. Uh, they've tried to train me, and I'm not fast enough. I watch these people and they spin and they're like, -da 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 -da. these arthritic hands are not going to be able to do that. I'm sorry, not happening. I hate it for you. So I like the team, the team rumble. Because, A, excuse me, um, I get to constantly respond. Not, you know, I, I get in regular battle royales, you have to die, and once you're dead, you're gone. Uh, but I like the respawning. That's why when I play Warzone, I play Plunder. When I played Blackout, I played the zombie version so I could come back as a zombie. Because doing what I do, I need the content. But anyway, so we were, I tried, it kicked me out. I waited 45 minutes, 45 minutes. I couldn't get back into the game. I had to uninstall and reinstall Fortnite. They did this for the Star Wars thing. They did this for two other events. This is the fourth event that I've been kicked out of. Anyway, so because I didn't get to, we didn't, I didn't get to stream the live event. Uh, what, and what ended up happening is, is I really wanted to show off the new wall. And so we went in, and I told them, but they weren't listening. I was like, no, we got to show them the wall. And <laughs> scripted part of this was is I made them drop close enough to the wall to where everybody got stuck in the wall. Unscripted part was their reactions to it. So making video content it's semi-scripted. It's semi-not. You go in with a basic idea. You know, we want to be here. We want to try this. We want to try this. And we want to try this. We want to be able to do these things. The cause and the effect of everything and how people react and that's not scripted. It, it's really not. You know, when we play Kill Your Friends, nothing scripted. That's why we brought in the randomizer and we randomize our killers, our survivors, and our perks. Um, the only thing that you always know for a fact is our friend in Australia, Sebastian. He's brutal and vicious. But Sebastian, Sebastian has this thing where he doesn't understand the playing for content, playing for entertainment, which is... Really, I classify us more as entertainers than gamers. Um, I like video games, and I love playing video games. Um, am I great at them all? No. Dead by Daylight. Am I okay at it? Yeah. Am I great at it? No. Uh, Warzone. I'm good at it. Not great at it. I'm good at it. Lego games? Oh, those I'm great at. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> Ark Survival? I'm great at that game. I love that game. I'm really good at Ark Survival. Um, I really wish I could make Ark Survival videos, but I'm really bad at not having somebody to talk to. I think I've attempted mo more times than I could count starting an Ark Survival gameplay. And I we do have some old videos that are over on YouTube, which we never got finished. We only got to the first boss. And uh, we lost the server because I couldn't afford it. And that's that's just the way it is. And so I was like, well, maybe I could try this on my own. I, I have such a hard time. I don't know. I could do this, but I can't do it when I'm playing a video game. My mind gets stuck on the video game and the gameplay of the video game that I forget to talk and interact, I guess. I, I just, I don't know. Um, I really would love to be able to do it. Um, obviously, I've beaten the island, repeat, you know, enough times. I have one completely ascended character. Uh, that character lives on Valgira now, Valgiro now. That's my breeding center. So when I cap, when I go into other worlds, um, and I get some really nice high level dinos, um, eventually they make it to Val, and they end up in my breeding center. I like my breeding center, and I breed everything. I'm like, oh, max level penguin, I'll take it. Oh, and a max level penguin of the other sex. I'll take it. Let's breed some penguins. I'm really cool. I really love that. And my animals, my animals are red and black. My hair is red. My outfits are red and black. Like, if you have not noticed, red and black is totally the AGP theme. Um, I know up here in the corner, you see it in white. Um, that's just because that's the only picture I have of my logo. I really do need to get my words in the black, but say la vie. It is what it is. I wonder if Cassie could do that. Hmm. So, A, you guys got us affiliated, which thank you so much. And like I said, we now have two subscribers. Um, so I have, so I've been working on something and I want to see what you guys think uh let's see can i want to show no i want to show this thank you this no come back here Let me share it. It won't let me share my own picture. Oh, that sucks. I really wanted to share it. I really wanted to show it off. That's not right. That's not right at all. Oh, there it is. So if you could see that, there we go. Uh, let's make let. There we go. This is one of the um emotes that we are working on. Um, this is Shigo, my dog. Um, and ha she has a little AGP collar. And the reason why I'm showing this to you guys is I want to see what you guys think. Maybe you guys want, you think maybe this should be a tier one, tier two, or a tier three. Um, I really like some feedback from the community. So if you guys could be like, oh, I think, you know, for five, you know, because I believe, I know tier one is five dollars. Uh, what are the tiers in... So, you can sub for $5 a month, $10 a month, or $25 a month. So, what do you guys think? Should that be a $5, $10, or $25 one? Because, um, obviously, it's very exclusive because it's my dog. 
and it's my logo. <laughs> it's my branding. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? Do you think, do you, or do you not like it? Do you think it's absolutely hideous? Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, we are working on another one. I, um, let's see. Papa da 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 da. Is it this one? No, not that one. Is it this one? No, not that one. Cassie did one, and I have no idea where it went. But I can show off this one. Um, so... This is another one that we have set up. Um, we're looking to put like maybe like gaming, podcasts, streamers, things like that on the dollar bills, kind of like how we put the AGP here. The only problem that I have with this one, and if this is why I think this one should be the five dollar one, is due to the fact that Savic is <laughs> money everywhere. Um, it's because it's just me. It's not the whole crew. Um, there is another one that we are looking at. And you buy. And let me pull that one up for you guys. So get rid of this. Get rid of this. Come here. Uh, here. So we're working on one more. And it's this one here. And what we want to do with this one. Ah, no, 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 no. Add that back. Put that full screen. <laughs> is we're going to remove all of that stuff there in the picture. And then we're going to put the logos of our sponsors here. I think that'd be kind of cool. But again, I want to know what you guys think. I want to know, you know, do you guys like it? What are you guys' decisions on that? Uh, I really like the Shiga one, but... <sighs> I'm so nervous about doing stuff like this. So I really want your guys' feedback. So tell me, do you like those as emotes? Do you think they're cool? Do you think they're worth for the subscription? Because what I've learned is when you subscribe to somebody on Twitch, you're supposed to get a free emote. And I don't have any yet. And so I need you, the community, to help me decide, is this a cool emote or is this not a cool emote? What should we do with it? What do you think? Um, based off of your guys' you know, things, I'll make decisions. And you can leave messages on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. And I think I'm going to go ahead and post them out there. Hey, what do you guys think about this one? Do you think this should be a level one, two, or three tier, five, ten, or 25 bucks? What do you think about these emotes and how do you, how do you want to go about it? So it'd be really cool, and I would love your guys' feedback on that. I really would. And I have a feeling that none of them are going to make it. I don't think they realize that this is only an hour long. So 45 minutes an hour. And we're already at 40 minutes. I don't think they're going to make it. I really don't. Uh, so I guess it's just you and me together forever. We're gonna be alone. I've really got to get a new camera. <laughs> the blurriness is bleh. so. Anyway, so that's what we're working on. Um, because it, and again, it's it's just one of those things. Um, that I'm building and trying to work out with the community. Oh, I did find out something really cool though. If you are an Amazon Prime person and you haven't already subscribed to a Twitch channel, um if you want to help AGP out, you can subscribe to the AGP channel here on Twitch and it's part of your Amazon Prime. So, it costs you nothing since you've already bought Amazon Prime and you get your first month of the subscription to a channel free. And at the end of the month, that means that you could just cancel and the person still makes the money off of it. Um, so how people make money on Twitch, um, 
unlike YouTube, YouTube, you have to have a thousand subscribers and you have to have so many views and you have to reach a certain, you know, all these things. And YouTube's a lot harder than Twitch was. I mean, I've been on YouTube since 2012 and I'm still not affiliated. I still can't make money with YouTube. Here on Twitch, I've been doing this since, what, March? So April, May, June, three months, three months, eight years, three months. Slight difference, and I'm already making money on Twitch. True, it's $5 a month that I'm making right now, but hey, I'm making money. And it's just another step to seeing the dream that I have come true. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just keep seeing my sa poor Savic in the back. Savic, what you doing? Kiki. Hold on. Kiki, come here. Come here, Savic. Come here. Come here. Hi, baby. Ready? Oh, got you a little scruffy. Here, I got fixed. it. There you go. Hi, Tavik. Hi, Sav. Oh, how's my baby? So this is Lieutenant Savic. She is, how old are you now? 13? I think she's 13, 12 or 13 years old. I found her being chased by a fox. Her is just a little bitty. Her just a little bitty when we lived in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> you want down? There you go. Rule number one, never hold a cat. <laughs> when they're like, I want down, let them be down. Anyway, um, if you notice, Savik has this itty little tail, itty little feet, and itty, but she's got this big old belly. She actually suffers from dwarfism. So that's as big as she's going to get. I know she looks like a kitten, but she's not. She's full grown. And shedding everywhere. Oh, you need a brush in. And I really don't want your butt in my face. Can we not butt face me? There you go. Go play with the dog. You guys get along great. The dog eats you. Great. Now I have Savic hair everywhere on this shirt. <laughs> um. Anyway. I'll give it. Look, I know I distracted her, but let's be honest. She'd run back and forth across that couch for hours on end. She really would. That's just what she does. Okay. Hey, that's my Harry Potter box. Hey. Hey. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Ow. No, 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 no. Sorry. Um, so... I'm a collector, and I thought this was really cool that I have these boxes from when the books came out. And she's trying to chew on it. Absolutely not. Okay, hold on. trying to figure out where all the yelling is again like I said I live in an apartment and people are just yelling outside and I hope you guys couldn't hear it but I just wanted to go ahead and check oh, looks like it's good my headset was almost dead when I started anyway so let's see what else has been going on um we talked about that by daylight I showed off some of the products that we're making which I need to get pictures up on a uh, Facebook and stuff like that. What else has been going on? Not much else. Um, I'm still busy doing the whole staying quarantined. I know that they're trying to open up everything. I just think it's a little too quickly. I'm seeing what's going on all over the world and second stages and things like that. And With my immune deficiency, I'm just, I'm not going to, absolutely not. And so I'm just staying and doing what I do best. Um, let's see, projects that are in the wings uh, that will be coming out soon. Oh, I have this. <laughs> um, 
I have a interview with Terry Huddleston, who's this amazing comic book creator and artist uh, that'll be dropping within about a week or so. Um, we have a Don't Even Think uh, Battle Royale that <laughs> somebody decided to stream snipe us while we were doing it. And see, she's back at it. And so, and it was, it was, I, I was a little upset. So the person comes in while we were, while we were streaming into the chat of Twitch and goes, hey, and I'm like, oh, hi. Um, we were actually ending, but I feel kind of bad. So we'll go ahead and do one more match so you can watch. Unbeknownst to me, they were also playing on the same console and the game just keeps putting the same people into the same game because there wasn't that many people playing. A matter of fact, the game don't even think will be ending in August because of the COVID-19, they aren't going to be able to continue with the game. Sad. It has potential. It had potential uh, to be something really cool, but it is what it is. Anyway, so this person stream sniped us and they waited for us to land. They ran right behind us. They killed me immediately put down Cassie, then hid, knew Dennis was coming around the corner, knew where Dennis was, proceeded to shoot him in the back, of the back, in the back, and they're like, oh, hey, ha, 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 that was me, and admitted to street sniping. And so I cut it out of the video. So you're not going to get, I'm not going to mention your name here. And I cut you out of the video, so it's not going to be on YouTube. It's not going to be anywhere else. And you're going to be in trouble because I, because no, I don't, I don't play that. You use Twitch to stream tonight. Rude. Did you? That's. But I won't give the, I, I won't give the person that satisfaction being able to edit the videos. I was able to take the highlight down. So I got rid of it. I downloaded the video and I edited the whole thing. So we ended the match, the match before they even showed up. Like we ended, the match ended. We were in the middle of saying goodbye when they showed up. So I just cut off their showing up and got rid of it and just re and redid the whole outro of da 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 da. You're not, you, you do not. No, 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 no. I don't think so. So, sorry, hate it for you. Get over it. You, you're not going to... I never understood stream sniping. Why? Why? I play games to have fun. So, when I play a game of Dead by Daylight and the killer has to camp, that's not fun. When a killer does what's called tunneling in the game, which is they attack the person who just got off the hook. It's not fun. I want to play games to have fun. And I was already upset earlier in that video because one of my crew decided to teabag people. And I explained to them, you teabag ever again in one of the videos and you're out of this crew. We do not teabag. I want as much I want to have fun, but I want it to be gaming gets such a bad rap of having such vile and horrible communities that I don't want that. I want people to go, oh, it's AGP. They're cool, they're awesome, they're friendly, they they have a positive gaming attitude. And don't get me wrong, we have we have done some shady things in the past. Um you know, like if I would have had my full crew there, I probably would have left it in because I probably would have just destroyed this person because I would have brought an entire crew because since the thing is, since the thing normally is supposed to be like 50 people and three werewolves, I would have sent me and my crew in into major, you know, all right, crew, let's do this. Because my entire crew together, minus the two guys in Australia, because the game's banned in Australia, would have been me, Kathy, Cassie, Dennis, Matt, Kelsey, 
TJ, right? That, 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 eight. Yeah, I have eight people. I would have destroyed this person if I really wanted to, but I didn't have the full crew. Like, when we play Dead by Daylight and somebody is literally just camping, we will body block. And body blocking is – camping and body blocking does not make for a fun game for anybody. So I don't like doing – that's one of the reasons why you'll find out I'll play less and less online games, and I'll play more and more games with my friends. Like, I don't play PvP and ARC because, oh, my God. Um, I don't play – when I play Star Wars Battlefront 2, I don't, I don't like to play with anybody other than my crew. Uh, so we only play co-op. And it's just because I don't like the toxicity of a lot of gamers. I don't like people who teabag – people who think that they're – Oh, they're better. Great. You're great at a game. But do you understand? But I, I, I don't know. Like, I will never forget the first time I played a first-person shooter. And it was a Call of Duty game on the Xbox 360. And these people made me feel like the biggest piece of shit I have ever been. It was the first time I ever played this type of game. It's the first time I ever played a first-person shooter. Up until then, my games were things like Resident Evil, Dino Crisis, and Mario. <laughs> oh, and Pac-Man. <laughs> so, I had no idea what I was doing, and... That community was so toxic that I stopped playing games like that for a really long time. And I just, I decided then and there, if a community is toxic, I don't want to be a part of it. I really don't. I'll find a way to play the game by myself and have fun by myself. But I, I don't like toxicity. I don't ever want to be the reason that somebody goes, I don't want to play this game. These people are me. I don't ever want to be that person. Um, there's, I do not, ne I never want to feel the fire with hate. I don't, I don't understand why you could be so hateful to somebody that you have no idea who they are. You don't know if this is their first game or their 50th game or if they're the ultimate person. Maybe they're just having a bad day. Maybe they were playing a video game and somebody told them that they need to learn to drop their balls and be a real man. And then when they explained to them that they're a girl, the answer was, well, no wonder why you can't play the video game. Maybe the person's just having a bad day. Maybe it's the first time this person's ever played the game. Maybe the person is old. And it's trying to figure out the difference between this and the Nintendo controller. Because the first time I played on a PlayStation, I'm like, what the hell? Who knows? But as gamers and as human beings, we should be a lot less toxic. Gaming is a great way to build a community. Great way to meet people. Make friends. You may never personally get to meet these people because they could be living all the way across the pond. And yes, I've adapted the pond from Gary and Sebastian playing with them so much because they're in Australia. So you may never get an opportunity to meet them. But I'll be damned if Sebastian and Gary are not my friends. I'll be damned over that. I Chico. <laughs> oh, okay, stop smiling. There you go. There's a smile from my baby. <clears throat> my 16 going on 17-year-old puppy. All she does is sleep. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to eat. I'm going to go potty. I'm going to go back to sleep. <laughs> That's all she does. And I love the fact that she always goes, my spot. That's her spot. So she gets the Batman pillow. And then I get the Ninja Turtles. And the purple one over there is the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Rainbow Dash. So, yeah, those are mine. Um, <laughs> and believe it or not, I eat, sleep, 
everything. I don't leave. I have a lovely bed, a queen size bed in an air conditioned room with brand new, well, they were brand new when I bought them, uh, bed set. And the only people that have used it in the last two years are my sister and my friend Kelsey. That's it. I don't use my own bed. Okay. Sorry. I a notification popped up to Facebook. I was hoping it might be Dennis coming in, but it's not. But we're reaching the eight o'clock mark. Um I'm sorry it didn't and I, I I'm sorry that it ended up not being what it was supposed to be. Like I said, Cassie and Dennis were supposed to join, but they disappeared. So, but there's really nothing else really to talk about. Just remember, if you're out there, gaming is supposed to be fun. Stop being toxic to people. Um, big thank you to everybody for all the support that you've shown us. Uh, we're getting more followers over on our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, more gamers are finding us. Um, I've been invited to play with a couple of other streamers. So there might be some collaboration with AGP and other people. Uh, as you can see, Matt's now getting onto the streaming thing. So now we're going to have different POVs of the games that we play, which means we'll have better videos for YouTube because I want this to be a group thing. Stupid dust particle. <laughs> That was not a ghost. It was a dust particle. There are no ghosts in my apartment. No, they're not allowed. They're not welcome. I'm done with ghosts. That's that's a whole another podcast for a whole another time that we're gonna talk about that because I have some stories, Ooh, creepy crawly thrillers, like the kind that give me goosebumps just by talking about about them. But anyway, um, I'm going to wrap this up here. So, But thank you to you guys. So, again, let me know what you think about those emotes. Um, if you have ideas for other emotes that you think. Now, remember, I am not an artist. I am not an artist. Uh, so I, it's got to be semi-simple for me to be able to do. So if you like the whole idea, maybe I could do um, – I have a black cat named Darth Vader. I have Fizz Geek. You saw her earlier in the video. Maybe I could do some emotes with them. I only get one per tier, so I'm only allowed three as an affiliate. I'll get more when I get partnered, but I need your guys' help with that too. Uh, for us to get partnered, we need 75 views during the streaming, and we're only ranking between 5 to 10, so – that's up to you guys and the viewers to help th us make our dream happen. Uh, we want to be able to do this full time. If you really want to know the full dream, my dream is to someday be able to buy a warehouse where I can split it up into sections. One section is where I'm able to pay every member of AGP at least $10 an hour to sit around and play video games and make stupid content for you guys. On top of that, I want another section where I could do this podcast but actually have people – recording it on a real camera and not just webcams and three is I want to be able to have a no that one one thing is one one of my dreams is going to become reality just not this year uh COVID kind of killed that so it'll be another year or two so COVID killed one of the dreams that was supposed to be coming I had a huge announcement but I had to cancel it because of COVID but it, and then the other the other section is actually supposed to be kind of like a romper room room where like all the foam swords and stupid stuff that we can break our necks with is supposed to be there and that's how i want to split it up um and then maybe an editing room you know be able to hire an actual editor because i suck at this i suck at editing i hate it so much hi savik but no no the those are my comic books. Get off of those. Savic. Animals and collectibles. <laughs> but, and I want to be able to pay each member of HP at least $10 an hour. At $10 an hour, most of them will quit their crappy jobs that they have. Uh, believe it or not, most of us work, like I said, I quit mine, but I was working at a fast food restaurant up until March. And I honestly quit because of COVID. Um, with my immune deficiency and my anxiety and my depression, I 
I was on the verge of doing something really stupid. And so I was told that I should go ahead and quit my job because either way, I'm not going to get paid. Um, they went, they wouldn't pay me. I was, I was, I was, if I took a leave of absence, I wouldn't get paid. And there wasn't a guarantee that I'd have my job anyway. So. Sorry. So, yeah, that's how that goes. And, um, but Dennis, he goes, he's in school and he, and when I mean school, he's in college and he works at a fast restaurant and Matt works in an auto parts store and Kathy works for the city and Cassie is out of a job because of COVID because she was working in a nursing home and Tyler works at a gas station and Kelsey works at a grocery store and DJ works for a delivery company. We work, we work nine to fives. Um, I'm the only one who's not working in nine to five because Everything's on my shoulders to get this up and running off of the ground. It's my responsibility to make a name for this company, to get to the sponsors, to get to everything else that we need to be able to do what we're doing. And I'm literally spending 20 hours a day working on either arts and crafts stuff or anything else. Like I spent today cutting out bits and pieces so I can make coasters. By the way, these were great. These are fantastic. Uh, the other day it was like 80 something degrees. I had my pops out and it never ruined my table. The coasters took full blunt of it. And we do have masks. We do have masks. So if you need a mask, uh, I, th I think they're 10. And of course, and, and right now I don't have a standard shipping and handling for anything. So you message me. Let me find out where you are. Uh, what we're trying to do to help people, if you're looking for a dice bag or a dice tray or a mask or coasters or a dog scarf or anything like that, uh, we're trying our best to help you with the shipping and handling. If if it's something that we could take a cut on and we could still make a little bit of a profit on it, we will. Obviously, if we can't, we're going to try to get you the cheapest shipping and handling we can because we're going to look into it and then we'll tell you what the shipping and handling is. But again, thank you guys so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. I'm sorry the rest of nobody else from the crew showed up, uh, but I'll just I'll just harass them next time. But thank you guys so much. Don't forget, if you're watching here on Twitch, please follow or subscribe. Remember, subscriptions are only either five dollars, ten dollars, or twenty-five dollars. I'm working on getting you guys those emotes. Give me some feedback on what you thought about them, and I'll get those guys. I'll get those things up and running for you guys. Um, remember, if you're an Amazon Prime person, you can make your first subscription for the month absolutely free. It's just the five dollar tier, and the way how this works is I get half of that, so I'll make two dollars and fifty cents off of your subscription. So yay! Um, and then after that, it's your responsibility to decide if you want to continue your subscription or if you want to cancel. But every little bit does help. Because remember, it's not just being able to make the content that we're w working on. It's also still being able to keep my apartment, keep the lights on, uh, put food in my stomach. They have a big tummy and they, and they food. And of course, um, if you're watching over on YouTube, please follow, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications so you know every time that we go live. And make sure that you give little thumbies up so you know, so we know how much you like the videos. And leave comments. We, I love reading comments. I love interacting with people. Come and watch our streams and chat. I will chat with you all day long while I'm doing this stuff. Uh, I'll even be like, oh, I'm in the middle of something. I will look at that in just a moment. And I will. I always will. And there's always some downtime in games. So I should be able to check the chat. And um, follow us. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, so if you're looking for us on Twitch and you didn't watch this here on Twitch, there's the Twitch handle. If you want to follow us over on Instagram, here's the Instagram handle. If you want to follow us on Twitter, Twitter won't let me put the whole thing so it's the Amanda G Presents. But there we are on Twitter. There's Facebook. And YouTube, The it would not let me copy the link. But YouTube, it's also the Amanda Gillen Presents. Look for that logo right there, that AGP logo. And, of course, don't forget to help out Matt over on his Twitch channel. 
uh, like I said, you're going to be able to see a different POV. Uh, the very first video that we have a different POV is the Fortnite that was done on June 15th. Uh, so you can check that out. And, of course, don't forget uh, to watch some of his individual ones as he goes to start those. On that note, I thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Be safe out there. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye.